All right, hey guys, Rob here, and in this video we're going to be talking about how you can actually go inside of uh, Skype here, set it up so that you can use Ecamm Live um, you know, to do your interviews and stuff. So the, the very first thing, and let go ahead, let's go ahead and jump right into this, is uh, I have uh, Skype open. You always want to, want to make sure that you have your check for updates, uh, that make sure that that's all good. And then the the other thing is we need to go to the preferences. So we go inside preferences, we go down to calling, and we want to make sure that we go under the advanced here and allow NDI usage. Okay, um, the Ecamm docs say make sure that uh, you do this before you uh, initiate your inter any kind of your calls with your interviewee. Um, because you're not going to be able to toggle this uh, on and off uh, while you have an active call. So anyways, you're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, you can go ahead and close out of that, and we're going to go ahead and open up uh, Ecamm Live here. All right, so now we're in Ecamm Live, and uh, you should be able to wiggle your mouse over the Ecamm screen here and see that we have something right here. Now, if you don't see this little uh, control box here with Skype. Uh, you may have to go up to uh, cameras, include in switcher, and sort of see uh, the, the available camera feeds that you currently have. Okay. Now, now that we have at least a Skype person in here, I do want to, or Skype logo anyway, uh, sort of go over a few things that you can do before you even bring in the guest. Um, one is, well, how do you get uh, to both you and the interviewer or interviewee um, on the same screen. Well, you see this little plus button, you can click the plus button. Uh, you can add them that way. Um, you can turn off the picture in picture. Okay, now you can have a side by side. Now, if you're like, well, that's really, um, I'm looking for something maybe more cropped. Um, well, that's where this little gear icon comes down. You can click on this, which is uh, go ahead and crop it, right? So you, you do have several ways to, to go about this. Um, the one thing with the whole picture in picture, uh, you can do something like this, you know, if you, if you want your Skype guest up here. Uh, if you do have a green screen uh, set up on your own self, uh, you can definitely swap the views here. And you can see that I'm transparent, and I can be talking to the guest in the in the background, right, uh, right there. So that that's another way to go about things. Um, also, with the uh, Skype guest uh, selected, uh, you do have the ability. If they do have their own green screen, you can supply uh, the green screen filter and stuff. So that's going to be kind of cool. So now the next thing that you need to do is you need to get in uh, communication with your guest. And uh, you're going to find your guest somewhere in the directory, and you should be presented with a couple things here, right? You, you have the, uh, the video and the call. Um, you can click the call button to call the individual. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I do have this set up on like another Skype account where it's just going to call uh, a phone. Uh, so I'll go ahead and do that here. All right, so we're connected to the guest, and we're, we don't see their picture. Well, that's because they need to turn on their camera. So you need to tell your guest to turn on the camera. So we'll go ahead and do that. And again, that's something that you cannot control. That's something that your guest will have to do. And once you have that set up, now you can go back to, uh, you, you can see I got, I got two cameras here. Um, well, this one's the Skype camera. But uh, we can go back to that same scenario of, uh, you know, take off the picture in picture, hit the plus button. Now we got the side by sides. We have the getting rid of the crop split. And then, of course, you have the picture in picture. And uh, if you remember, I did tell you that you would be able to uh, use green screen effect uh, on them. Um, but we'll go ahead and take a look at that. So we'll go ahead and change the camera to the Skype guest. And let's go ahead and turn the green screen on, and you can see that it's it's being filled in, right? So, and uh, the, obviously the mask edges are trying to make that work for you. But anyways, uh, that's a real quick rundown on how you can run your uh, Skype interview, get it all set up with Skype, uh, and get it integrated in with Ecamm Live, all right? So hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial, and we'll see you next time.